See, everybody, this is not as always easy as it seems. This is what I go through to give her her shot. No, look. Come on. You want your candy after, right? We gotta clean it here. I need you to open the band-aid. Can you open the band-aid for me? Stop pulling the pants. Stop pulling the pants. Be a big girl. Here, you're gonna have to sit up. You're gonna have to sit up. Okay, be still. This is not always roses and cupcakes. Her no, bandage now I have to get another one. Hold on. Let me clean it. Don't touch it and I'll get another one for you to open, okay? Don't touch your leg. Wait, no, Lily, hold on. Here. I got gloves on, which makes it really hard to open these. Oh, this is the stress of my life, guys. This is what it's really like. It's not always smiles and... Oh, okay, shot time. Here, can you open this one for me? Can you get that one ready? No, it's not ready. You gotta get this stuff off the back, remember? Don't rip it in half. That's what happened to the last one. Alright, let's do this real quick. This is what happens when your kid gets vaccine injured. You gotta do stuff like this to them. Oh! I know. No. Mommy! Well, honey, I don't want to do it. Mom, you do that. Alright, pull your pants up. Careful. Pull your pants up. Well, I don't want to. Three of those a week. Here you go. Want your candy? Huh? It's got a band-aid on it. I put it on there. See? It's got band-aid. Don't show everybody your cuckoo. I know it hurts so bad. I'm sorry. Is that your medicine? I don't like it. I don't like it either. You a little bit like it. I don't like it. A little bit. Not even a little bit. Do you like it? No. Me either. I play my game. Yeah, you can play a game. Please. Yeah. Can you tell everybody why this happens? Can you tell everybody? No. No? You can't tell them you got a vaccine injured? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you did, didn't you? One night. Yeah, one day, huh? Yeah. One yeah. Night. And you've been getting these ever since, right? <laughs> Do you like these? Yeah, yeah. Do you like these? Nah. Mm mm. Does this hurt? Nah. They don't hurt? No, it does. It does. That. Needle? Ouchie. Yeah, that's got an ouchie. See? Not always fun and games, guys. Not always fake smiles around here. This is what happens when you listen to them. We took her in for thrush. I was, she always, always, always only got one to two. This day they told me she was so behind that if I didn't catch her up, then I would be held in neglect if she got something she could have been protected from. Yeah. And since that day, she, was get, she, she gets these. She was on every day. Now we're on three times a week. This is indefinite. So, do your research. Don't just let them talk you into things, because I wish I had known better for her sake. Because Lord knows how long she's going to have to do this. It could be, I know people with adults who are neutropenic from childhood, so. Um, I'm on my on and it's so rare that um, getting the vaccine injury compensation program to do anything about it, their experts could not, their experts didn't even know about enough about neutropenia to... Hush. Say it was even possible. Hush. You hush, Pop. <laughs> oh. Hush. Yes. I can't find it. It's gone. What are you trying to find? It's in my I want to play a game. My game. Your game's right there. <laughs> Lily Knucklehead. She's... Mom, why'd you take it? What? Oh, she told Mama. <laughs> what? Lily has an attitude, in case anybody hasn't been able to tell. No, she has a vendetta against me. Yes, her and Lala do not get along. For sisters, it's kind of sad. They really don't like uh, each Someone other. asked, may I ask what happened? Um, she had had normal CBCs always her entire life. She, okay, hold on. She even had a CBC the day, before, the day of these vaccines, before they happened, and had a normal CBC. From that point on, every time she's Mom. had one, her neutrophil level sits at zeros without these. This is Neupogen. This is something they usually give people who get chemotherapy to boost their immune system. Um, it pretty much makes it where your neutrophil is your main white blood cell. 70% um, makes up 70% of your white blood cells. 
when they gave her all of those vaccines on top of having thrush, which means your immune system's already compromised, her body could not cope, and her, um, her, um, thank you, her neutrogen, I mean, her neutrophil level went to zero. A healthy child sits around 2,500 to even 5,000, and she was sitting at zero every day after this. She made it up to 40 sometimes and would drop right back down to zero. Um, every time her body creates neutrophils, it sees them as a foreign um, body, and it attacks them, and it gets rid of them. And um, they say that this is due to all the adjuvants and things and vaccinations, that her body thought that this was also, uh, her, that her white blood cells were actually something bad. And so... Um, because of that, she will have to get these injections until, I mean, indefinitely, until she can either, her body can recover completely or, um, you know, to, something to that effect. We, we really would like to get her off of them because of the side effects that they cause. Um, her bones expand and contract. Her bones expand and contract uh, in between every injection, and that causes her bone pain. It causes her jaw pain. It causes her headaches. Um, and this kind of medication actually can cause leukemia, um, when you have to use it for extended, uh, amounts of time. Um, autoimmune neutropenia is a blood disorder, and so, actually, at first they thought she actually had cancer. We had to go through oncology before we were put with hematology, and after she had that bone marrow aspiration and biopsy, they determined that it was autoimmune neutropenia. And, um, the guy from the Center for Infectious Disease at Children's in Birmingham that saw her, was the first one to say um, this was an overload of her system. I can't believe they gave her these her all these shots when she was already sick, and that um, she she had fever for 26 days straight after those injections. Um, she turned pale as a ghost. Um, she went through uh, tons and tons of pain. She had fevers that re reached up to 106.7 under the armpit. We were in and out of every ER in our area. We were in and out of the peds office that gave them to her, and even they said, "Look, we're so sorry. We think this was the injections. We no longer are willing to see her." And from now on, if you need to take her somewhere, you need to take her to the doctors for, at Center for Infectious Disease because we no longer want to see your child. So not only did they hurt her, but then they refused to see her again. Not that I care to see them, but... Um, Someone sent you prayers. Oh, well, thank this, you. Uh, Bonnie, Sam, Thank you for the prayers because we could definitely use them because, like I said, it's not always easy. You know, there's sometimes you can whip this thing out and she'll sit there, smile, take the shot, no problem. You know, five minutes later, she doesn't even remember you did it to her. But then there are days like this where <laughs> she gets very stressed out and very frustrated and um, it just overwhelms her. She doesn't want to, who, who, what three-year-old wants to have to get shots all the time, you know? I mean, this is very rough on her and um, she doesn't understand why I have to do it, I guess, because I've been, you know, she asks me all the time. She says, Mommy, you hurt me. And, um, you know, that's hard for me as mom because, of course, that breaks your heart. So, um, not something you want to have to do. Um, you know, they gave us the option of taking her in all the time to let the doctors do this, but, of course, I'm not going to pay them to do this. I'd do it myself, and then I, you know, I think it's more, I think it's more comforting to her to do it at home with us than it would be to let somebody else do it anyway. Um, she still gets CBCs, but we don't go do them as much as they wanted us to because they were trying to get us to do it once every two weeks to keep up with her numbers, and that was just too much for her. Um, she's a very hard poke, usually five to six sticks before they even get blood, and most of the time, even then... They have to go to resort to fingers and squeezing fingers, and it's just really quite traumatic for her when we take her in for these kind of things. So, um, what are you doing? So, um, anyway, she, um, does anybody have any other questions about this that's watching? That way I can answer them if you want, because I know every time I do videos about her injections, people have questions. No, this is not a vaccine. I've gotten asked this before while doing these videos. Hell no, this is not a vaccine. This is a medication because she is vaccine injured. This is what vaccine injury looks like right here. This is what happens to your kids. You're going to stand up with needles, and believe me, you, know, you have no idea what irony that is to me. That six shots put her in this position, she has to get shot every week. Anyway, so um, no I guess we're going to stop. We're going to sign off so that I can feed these crazies some dinner and um, get some other things done. But thanks for watching, and um, educate before you vaccinate. That's all I can tell you.